How you doing, everybody? Welcome to Stand Focus for Jesus. I hope you're having a blessed day in the Lord Jesus Christ. Sometimes I sit back and I think about the different things that I see that are going on in the world. Sometimes I try to avoid different things that I see that are going on in the world because of the evil, the darkness that that dwells in people's hearts. And sometimes I just don't want to deal with it. Even though I know it's a reality. And sometimes I believe that God wants me to see these different things, these different evils, different forms of evil of the same evil, because we know where it comes from. Yes, God created evil. The Bible does teach that. God created evil to give us a choice because we are created in the image of God. And if God didn't give us a choice, then we would be nothing but robots. There's so much evil in the world because we choose to do evil. We like to blame everybody else. We like to blame the devil. Which the devil, the devil is powerful. Don't get it wrong. Don't get it twisted. But if you are in Christ... You have the power to overcome evil because light dwells in you. Christ dwells in you. I see some terrible things that I can't always share. And sometimes I do share some of the things that I come across. To get a point of cross. That if this is what you want. Evil. That is what you're going to get. I came across a post. A few posts at that. Two times. So. Let me know that God wants me to speak on it. God wants me to say something. I'm saying something now. Two posts about. Some of you have seen it, these um, children who are washing up on shore, trying to escape persecution and different things. And every time I see stuff like that, it grieves me. Not only because they're children, but more so because I'm 31 years old. I don't understand everything. It's not my place to. And I know that everything happens for a uh, for a reason. But when I see children washed up on the shores dead, I always ask God. It's always in my spirit. Why? Why, Lord? Why not me? Why them? Thirty one years old, that God has blessed me to be alive. Not even half of those years have I been a Christian. Not even half of them. And God could have allowed me to die many years before. Society looks at death like it's a bad thing. It is a bad thing when you don't know where you're going. 
But as a Christian, we know what the scriptures say. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? I know this may rub some of you the wrong way, but this is for those who have ears to hear. Some people that are dying, I'm not just talking about children, because we must remember that even though children are dying, God is allowing it. So I'm not just talking about children, but I'm talking about older people in Christ. God is taking them out. God is getting them out this earth before what is about to come upon this earth happens. Now, why he decides to let them die instead of being caught away, I don't know. I'm not God. I'm not God. I'm just a mere man. Why God? Why me? Why am I still alive? I think you have over 73 million babies who have been murdered by abortion. 73 million babies that have been aborted by abortion or more in America alone. That's 73 million plus lives. Yet here I am, here I am right here, alive, breathing. It could have been me. It could have been you. So I still continue to ask the question, why me? Point I'm getting that. Don't mind my tears. But listen to the message. The point I'm making. If you call yourself a Christian, if you call yourself an ambassador of Christ. And you aren't out here preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. You should be ashamed of yourself. If you have breath in your body. Well, yeah, you take it for granted. When children are being murdered and washing up ashore dead, you should be ashamed of yourself for not giving God the glory. And especially Christians. Shame on you. You call yourself a Christian. You say you love souls. You say you love people. And all I see is hate in your heart. If you're a Christian, preach the gospel of Jesus Christ while you still have breath in your body. If you're not preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ, woe unto you. Woe. Unto you. <laughs>